हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैं हूं आपका दोस्त महेश और आइए स्टार्ट करते हैं क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लोड्स सो क्वेश्चन इज स्टेट द न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ विस्कोसिटी एंड गिव एग्जांपल ऑफ इट्स एप्लीकेशन इनिशिएट न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ विस्कोसिटी एक्सप्लेन द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ विस्कोसिटी इन फ्लूड मोशन वाट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर ऑन विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ वाटर एंड डेट ऑफ एयर ओके फ्रेंड्स सो वी नो डेट फ्रेंड्स द न्यूटन्स लॉ विस्कॉसिटी न्यूटन्स लॉ न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ विस्कोसिटी इट स्टेट डेट फ्रेंड्स इट स्टेट द सीयर स्ट्रेस सीयर स्ट्रेस इज एक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू वेलोसिटी ग्रेडियंट वेलोसिटी ग्रेडियंट और प्रोपोर्शनल टू रेट ऑफ सीयर स्ट्रेन रेट ऑफ सीयर स्ट्रेन ओके फ्रेंड्स सो हियर दिस सीयर स्ट्रेस टाउ इक्वल टू एक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू डी यू बाई डी वाई आर वी कैन से टाउ इक्वल टू म्यू इन टू डी यू वाई डी वाई हियर दिस म्यू इज द प्रोपोर्शनलिटी कॉन्स्टेंट प्रोपोस प्रोपोर्शनलिटी कॉन्स्टेंट एंड इट इज नोन एज दिस म्यू इज नोन एज म्यू इज नोन एज कोफिशियंट ऑफ coefficient of viscosity okay friends so here the relation between the shear stress and the velocity gradient is directly proportional here directly proportional is there so if you draw the curve if you do draw the curve here this is the shear stress shear stress tau and here वेलोसिटी गेडियंट वेलोसिटी ग्रेडियंट सो इट इज एक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल सो द स्लोप विल कम इन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन लाइक दिस ओके फ्रेंड्स सो द फ्लूड विच फॉलो दिस रिलेशन द फ्लूड विच फॉलो दिस रिलेशन ए इज नोन एज न्यूटोनियन फ्लूड ओके फ्रेंड्स सो लाइक एग्जाम्पल लाइक एग्जाम्पल वाटर ऑयल ओके फ्रेंड्स सो सो फ्रॉम हियर दिस न्यूटन स्लॉ विस्कस्टी वी कैन डिफाइन हियर इन क्वेश्चन आंसर इट स्टेट डैट द सीयर स्ट्रेस टाउ ऑन अ फ्लूड एलिमेंट लेयर इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द रेट ऑफ सीयर स्ट्रेन इट मीन्स सीयर स्ट्रेस इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू ब्लास्टिक ग्रेडियंट और दिस टर्म इज नोन एज रेट ऑफ सीयर स्ट्रेन सो फ्रॉम हियर This tau equal to mu into du by dy. Here straight relation is there, directly proportional is there. So the curve will come like this. The fluid which follow this relation, this relation is known as Newtonian fluid. Okay, friends. Now here same thing written. Fluid which obey the above relations are known as Newtonian fluids, and the fluid which do not follow. I do not obey the above relation is called non newtonian fluids it means friends the fluid suppose the fluid's behavior is going like this the fluid behavior is going like this so these are known as non newtonian newtonian fluid okay friends now here effect of temperature on viscosity of water and air so what is the effect of temperature friends as we know that friends as we know that the fluid is flowing its particle is nearby the cohesive forces is predominant in this like this fluid particles is there so their bond is like this in this the cohesive forces is more so if you give the temperature if you give the temperature here heat heat this is a fluid particle 
fluid particle this is the bond bond between this and in this cohesive forces is more because that particles is very nearby very nearby so what happened if you give the temperature here temperature so it will try to expand it will try to expand the molecule will go uh, move like this so the relay the bond which what happened it will the cosy forces is there the bonding forces is there it will reduce here initially it is more but as we give a temperature the molecule will go far and far so what happened the bond between this the cosy forces between this is reduced because of this the viscosity will reduce so this is for this is for liquid like water okay friends now the second thing is that for gases for gases friends what happened the molecule is already very far away bahut dur dur hota hai isme so kya hoga friends and what uh, in this jo cohesive forces hota hai wo bahut hi less hota hai because already fluid particles is very far away so in it case friends if you give the temperature to kya hoga jab hum temperature denge isko temperature this is particles as you can say uh, molecule molecule gas molecule so friends what happen due to give hum jo hai temperature provide karenge to kya hoga ye motion karne lagega bahut fast tarike se motion karega ye in this direction in this direction in this direction so momentum jo hai of the momentum of the uh, this uh, gas molecules will increase and it will move very rapid okay friends in this in this direction will go that direction will go this direction will go so moving very fast because of this momentum the viscosity of the gases will increase okay friends because of this momentum of the gas molecule due to this temperature this viscosity will increase okay friends so here here the same thing written here effect of temperature on viscosity of water and air so what happened the viscosity of liquid decreases with the uh, with increase in temperature while the viscosity of gases increases with increase increase of temperature why friends because the liquid the cohesive forces is predominate the mole, molecular momentum transfer due to closely packed molecule here friends what happened closely this water molecule is very closely packed so here cohesive forces is more and momentum is very less compared to cohesive forces so here with increase in temperature the cohesive forces decreases due to this viscosity decreases in gases the cohesive forces are small and molecular momentum transfer predominate here friends already told you here cohesive forces is very small because the molecule is very far away so only thing is that the movement of the particle is more compared to here so what happen what happen due to temperature it will fastly move it will fastly move here there anywhere so the movement of all these things the momentum transfer will be more and because of this because of this that viscosity will increase so here in the gases the cohesive forces are small and molecular momentum transfer predominate so with the, the with the increase in temperature molecular momentum transfer molecular momentum transfer increases hence viscosity increases okay friends the third point is that importance of viscosity in fluid motion in fluid motion friends what happen when the fluid is moving when the fluid is moving so in this what happen due to this viscosity what is viscosity here viscosity is the resistance between layer layer to layer so if this is one layer this is second layer so what is the distance between two layers so this is this term is known as viscosity so friends what happen if any particle is there like aerodynamic shape suppose plane is there or any missiles is there like this or we can say aerodynamic instrument is there so what happen this it will create the friction here it will create friction heat and other things because of this resistance 
so in this field in aerodynamics fields in reservoir engineering uh, the importance of uh, this viscosity is more okay friends so importance of viscosity you can say since viscosity shows some resistance between fluid layers like air water oil so in this case it is very useful to understand this type of resistance behavior of the resistance in aerodynamics and reservoir engineering and other fields also okay friends so this is the importance of viscosity so friends mera explanation acha lage to please like kijiye comment kijiye subscribe kijiye support kijiye friends thank you